Hey guys, my name's Erin. I'm the social media marketing strategist with Toy Cycle, an online children's consignment platform based in the San Francisco Bay Area. I'm here to share a few tips and tricks with you for greening up your holiday wrapping routine. We're going to get you away from traditional store-bought gift wrap, gift bags, gift cards, and going through your house looking for some really fun supplies that are going to do the job. It's going to cost you less. It's going to be better for the environment, and you're going to feel really creative when you're done. Wrapping paper is one of those things that makes so little sense when you consider the upfront cost and the cost of the environment. In 2017, Americans spent over $12 billion on wrapping paper. That's billion with a B, uh, which is a pretty mind-boggling sum when you think about the purpose that that gift wrap serves. I mean, it's the holiday equivalent to the disposable straw. It's literally designed to be used and thrown away in very little amount of time. It's important to note gift bags, gift tags, ribbons, bows, and other embellishments, they're not recyclable. Wrapping paper, we think, oh, it's just paper, but actually it's coated with plastic, typically, um, not always, but typically, and it's usually got also harsh inks and dyes, embedded foil, glitter, making it very, very poor candidate for recycling in most communities. 2.3 million pounds of the stuff winds up in landfills each year. That's just in America. Let's not forget that the original source of all that wrapping paper is, it's trees. Trees that have to be cut down, treated with chemicals, lots and lots of water used in the process just to make wrapping paper, just so we can wrap our presents, just so it can be thrown away. It doesn't make sense. I'm gonna show you a few tips and tricks for greening up your holiday wrapping routine. And I think it's important to note that I didn't have to buy anything here. So this is just stuff I found in my own home. You're gonna have different things. The idea here is just to think creatively outside the box, turn that trash into treasure. You never know what will be useful once you start looking at things in a different way. So here I've got some art that my kids left laying around. I've got this old cereal box. Tissue paper I've been saving, plain envelopes, but the inside is really cute, and scrap of paper would be great here too. I didn't have any on hand. I've got this old gift bag. I love the pattern. I've got this bubble mailer. It came with a recent refrigerated food delivery. This stuff is just awful. You feel horrible throwing it away. Magazines that we might cut from, old maps are super cool. These are just ideas. I have a little greenery that I cut from outside some cotton twine. I've got a big roll of it here. It's awesome and it is compostable, biodegradable. Got some fabric. It's not specifically Christmas pattern and I actually think that that's better because the recipient can repurpose this in different ways away from the holiday. Brown paper grocery bag, your best friend. This little tea box here has the cutest pattern inside. We're gonna figure out a fun way to use this. I've got some pastels markers, crayons, whatever else. Let's get started. The brown paper bag is your number one team player. And what you're gonna do to make this easy to work with is you're gonna cut down one of the sides of the bag the long way, and then you're gonna cut all the way around this rectangular bottom. And what that's gonna leave you with is a really nice, long, flat piece of paper so you're not working around the shape of this bag. My kids did this one. This is thumbprints uh, in white washable paint. I did this one with some black acrylic paint. It gives it a little shine. It's nicer than the washable paint if you're not worried about um, the surfaces that you're painting on. This is a gift for my nephew who's super into Lego right now and we had an old Lego magazine laying around the house that no one was looking at anymore and I just went ahead and cut out this cute little comic and use a glue stick to affix it to the front of the package. It's going to be super fun for him on Christmas morning to get to read this little comic before he finds out what's inside. We haven't done this one yet. I'm thinking a little pom-pom. I have this baker's twine and what you're going to do is just take two fingers and you're going to wrap. The more you wrap, the bigger your pom-pom is going to be. So you're gonna slide this off your fingers. It's gonna be a little tight. Just wiggle, wiggle, wiggle them out. You're gonna take a smaller piece, like so, and you're gonna run it right through where your fingers were. You can do this with yarn. You can do this with um, fabric strips. 
and you're gonna get the same effect. It's pretty simple. You're gonna go ahead and tie this little string that you just ran through. You're gonna tie it in a knot like so. Hopefully you don't have such butter fingers like I do. We're gonna take our scissors and we are going to just really simply cut the loops that we made. And what we've got after we shake it out and fluff it up is just a little string, cute little string bow that we can tie onto this package and it's good to go. Again, the more string you use and the tighter your two fingers, you're gonna get um, a pom-pom effect. This is more of a bow. I do think there are two schools of thought about um, wrapping packages. Some people like them to be very perfect. Um, and I like them to be pretty, but I am just, just trying to keep things simple. Do you hear the rattle in there? That's some game pieces. This is a gift for my daughter. I do have this little dehydrated orange. I might tie it on. I might not. Let's see. Oh yeah, it looks pretty cute. All right, imagine I tied that and we are good to go. So this bubble mailer, really yucky to throw in the landfill. We're gonna use it. What I've done is I've gone ahead and wrapped this present and I will say um, the bubble mailer, it's puffy, it's bubbles. So you can either kind of pop some of those bubbles or you can just wrap it and know that it's gonna have a little puffy effect to it. I think it's cool. Um, if you're looking for shiny material that doesn't have this, um, you know, puffy effect, check out the inside of chip bags, um, especially brands like Lay's and Ruffles. They, the inside lining of those chip bags is often silver. So you can go ahead and just flip those inside out and use that as you would wrapping paper. I have this really cool star punch. So what I've done is cut out a few and glued them on. I have this other scrap of paper I showed you earlier from this envelope. I'm just gonna punch and glue. Layer up a bunch of those stars. It's gonna look really cute. Do circles, do hearts, do stripes, whatever is easy for you to cut out if you don't have a punch. Um, you can also cut strips of that bubble mailer and if they're skinny enough, you can tie them into the shape of bows. So the skinnier the strip, the easier it's going to be to tie. So this is really fun material to use. A little challenging, but really fun. So families with kids should definitely not overlook kiddo art for wrapping. If your house is anything like mine, their art is all over the place and it's hard to throw it out because each piece is different. You can use their drawings to either wrap or embellish packages like this. Um, I've got this smaller one that I've cut out for a gift tag. You can set out large pieces of paper and all sorts of art supplies and make your gift wrap that way. It's going to be super fun for them to have a crafting day and it's going to be great for you because you're going to have all of this awesome creative stuff to wrap with when crafting day is over. Keep in mind that glitter, although very sparkly, is itty bitty pieces of plastic. It winds up in our waterways. Fish eat it. It's really all around not a good thing for the environment. So as an alternative and super fun with kids, if you've got a hole punch, give them an old magazine or some junk mail. Let them go crazy with the hole punch making confetti. You're going to wrap your gift, smear it with clear dry glue or clear dry glue stick and sprinkle it on. Okay, we're getting into the real trash to treasure portion of our tips here. I've got this old cereal box. I've gone ahead and poked, uh, punched two holes in the front and two holes in the back with my hole punch. I have a couple strips of fabric. I'm going to simply feed them through and then either knot them or tape them. I'm taping them because it's faster. If your gift's really heavy, you're gonna wanna knot them so that it stays secure. We are going to take a fluff of some recycled uh, tissue paper that I've been hanging on to and we have made ourselves a little gift bag. It has a crossword puzzle on the back uh, for fun which is just super cute. If you're not into the cereal box look you can totally paint this 
paint it white and then um, add some festive color on top. But I think that this is an adorable use of something that you would normally just throw away. What's really cool about these little miniature boxes is that with just a few simple seams, if you're careful, you can take the whole box apart and you can flip it and re-glue it or tape it back inside out. So the pattern that is on the inside of the box is going to be on the outside or you're gonna end up with a plain brown paper box instead of something that's printed um, you know, with the, with the company's logo and everything. So give me a sec, I'm gonna put this box back together with some tape and glue. I'm loving this pattern, but the top has some writing that I kinda of wanna cover up. I'm gonna make an oversized fabric bow. So I've got this piece of fabric, I've gone ahead, if you can see, and I've scored the top with my scissors so that this fabric is just really easy to rip oops, into strips, like so. I'm gonna lay them out so that they're all in a row together. Cut off some of these excess strings. And I'm gonna go ahead and tie them together in a, with a knot in the middle. And the key here is gonna to be to kind of fluff these up and spread them out. And what you're gonna be left with is, when you're done, you're gonna have this kind of really sweet, snowflakey looking bow that you can secure to the top of your gift. And it is just really cute. This entire gift is, uh, gift wrap is fully compostable, except for the tape you would have to pull that off. You can use glue instead of tape. I use tape because I'm trying to move quickly, um, but glue is a great option. I've got this really cute puzzle. I'm gonna wrap it using this old map. Not a lot of use for maps these days. Everyone has GPS and we're not traveling because of the pandemic. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this. Cotton bow. This twine is great for so many different things. All done. Wrapping with fabric is another great way to forego traditional gift wrap. Again, you're really only limited to your imagination here and what you have on hand. Think tea towels, old pillowcases, maybe an unloved flannel shirt, something your kids have outgrown. If you can sew, you can easily create a bag with just two simple side seams. Pop your gift in, secure the top with a piece of coordinating fabric as your bow. If you don't sew, that's okay, we've got you covered. You're gonna go ahead and cut fabric to the size that you want for your gift. You're gonna put the um, right sides of the fabric together and go ahead and use fabric glue or even hot glue to glue the sides of your fabric together as your seam. And when you flip your, this one's great for, you know, a bottle of wine champagne, maybe some tequila. There you go, too cute and it took literally two minutes to do. So there's another way to use fabric that doesn't involve sewing or gluing. The Japanese call it furoshiki and it's really trending right now with some stores like Anthropology selling printed fabric specifically for this purpose. But we are not buying anything new here. So again, just look for old scarves or unused fabric, linens, etc. The main thing is you want your cloth to be square. That's gonna help you when it comes to tying your gift. Now, there are so many different ways to tie uh, fabric gifts together. I am not an expert. Um, I'm just gonna show you one of the most basic, and that's to take two corners together, tie it nice and tight. Then you're gonna take the other two corners and you are going to tie again. Fluff up your ties so it looks more like a bow. We're gonna tuck this little piece in here. And you have a super simple, very cutely wrapped package, ready to go, so fast, so easy. I love it. Last but not least, we're going to use part of the gift to wrap the gift. Now this really only works if you were buying the item anyway. I don't want you to run out and buy things just to wrap your gifts. But you probably have an old reusable bag on hand 
or maybe even something that you know that your kid is in need of. Here's a new lunchbox. And I'm just gonna pop in more of these trains. Maybe some tissue paper to make it a little more fancy. Zip it up. And that's done. Set it under the tree. Very exciting. Here again, I've got this sweet little backpack. I'm gonna pop in these clothes. Every kid loves getting clothes for Christmas, right? I might add a little book in here as well. Zip it up. We can add a bow to the monkey's head if we want to, but seriously, how simple is that? It's still a gift. It still needs to be unwrapped. I have a friend who just had a baby and I've been setting aside these sleep sacks for her. I found this awesome swaddling blanket. It's so big, I love it. It's so soft, she's gonna love it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these sleep sacks and this little bunny toy, and I've got this positioned on the corner, and I'm just gonna roll and roll and roll and keep rolling this up like a big fluffy burrito. Now I've got these two edges. I'm gonna take them together. I'm gonna tie a knot. And my tails are still a little bit long. They look like bunny ears. I'm going to knot them again. And I think one more time. And here we've got a super useful gift wrap that goes along with the gift. Now, because you've listened this far, I just want to thank you for taking the steps to green up your holiday wrapping routine. Becoming more sustainable is a process of a lot of little steps, and I hope that this one is easy and fun for you. If you're looking for more ways to celebrate sustainably, definitely consider purchasing some gifts secondhand this year. Thrifting your gifts has a great positive impact on the environment. You're literally creating a demand to keep items out of landfills while not buying a new item that will eventually wind up in a landfill. The benefit is twofold. And the secondhand market is expanding. There are more and more places to shop for great quality, used, original items, especially online. Toy Cycle is a great resource for items for babies and kids. Games, books, toys, clothing and they offer a great return policy too. But there are so many other great sites for adult clothing, shoes, books, all kinds of good stuff. Most of these places, Toy Cycle included, offer gift cards if it's getting a little late in the game and you're not sure about your recipient's size. I'd encourage you just to check and see if what you want to buy is available online used. Chances are the answer is yes, and when you pair your thrifted gift with some cool upcycled wrapping, you'll really be taking your green Christmas to the next level. Have fun.